What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. This is episode 28. I almost said welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. I'm getting a little confused, getting my series confused. But um, what we got going on today, you guys remember from the last episode, we mowed the lawn out here, got everything looking spick and span, painted all the walls on the inside, did the flooring, and uh, things are looking pretty good. So if you're still confused by this room, with the paint scheme, what we're gonna be doing today will probably help you figure out what's going on here. So um, what I wanna do first is start out here by uh, getting rid of the lights in the area. It looks like we just have this light that we need to get rid of and uh, I'll go through and, and evenly space out some halogen lights. So I'm gonna do that here first and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right guys, now that we've got our lights in the garage, we've got lights in the living room slash kitchen area. I'm still not 100% on what I wanna do here. I'm thinking maybe we just have a small kitchen here and a really, really big living room over there. Um, bathroom, we got lights in now, and the bedroom, we have b bedroom. I hate how I say that, bedroom, we have lights now as well so with the addition of the lights i think it's time we uh, get in this living room space here and start configuring things so i'm thinking probably tv and everything on this wall actually you know what no i don't like that idea tv over here couch and uh, maybe a maybe a lounge chair um, uh, up against this wall i think is probably going to look the best so let's take a look in the store here and see what we can find for furniture. I think this TV stand Anna might look pretty good. Let's put that over here up against this wall. Leave a little bit of space over there. Maybe we can put a put a decorative plant or something over there. Let's get uh, let's get the TV that doesn't hang on the wall, the one that'll just sit on uh, on wherever we need it to. Grab this thing and we will put that right about there looks pretty good okay so after after we have the uh the addition of the tv of course we're going to need a tv remote so we'll put one of those up here and uh, i'm thinking that we should do a little bit a little bit of surround sound in here we'll put the horizontal speaker right there we can grab these tall boys right here and uh, sort of angle these in at a 45 right in the corner that's looking good Get this other one right there. All right, so we got our surround sound figured out now. We are still missing the uh, the speakers in the back, but we will figure that out after the fact, after we get our get our couch in here. Gonna get a PS4, if we can fit all this up here. I guess we could have it overhang. We could put it up here too. Let's uh, let's put the PS4 right there, and uh, we'll get the we'll get the Xbox as well. This looks more like a 360, if I'm honest. Put that up there. And there we go. So we got two gaming consoles now for him. Let's get uh, let's get his controller specced out. We're gonna need a router as well. Put that up in the windowsill, and uh, let's grab some controllers here. All right, we're gonna spec these out with 2G colors, of course. Buy two of those, and we can put those. Ah, maybe he's got maybe he's got some friends. We'll give him we'll give him three controllers. I think that looks pretty nice. All right, now I want to do some speakers over behind the uh, the couch. So we're gonna put one speaker over here in this corner and another very expensive speaker, by the way, 200 bucks per speaker. We're gonna put that one there. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now that we have the uh, the sort of layout configured, we do need to get a couch. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the couches here, see which one we like the best. We don't normally use this one. I wanna see what colors it comes in. We could do a, we could do a a dark gray couch maybe even just a gray let's do that and some black legs how's that gonna look put that as close to that speaker as we possibly can there we go that's looking good and then uh, we could get we could get a little chair over here in the corner so let's check out armchairs here this one just because it matches and we will do it in a gray with black legs as well there we go all right angle this at uh, about a 45 up there looks pretty good and then we're gonna need an end table in between the two we'll go with the stylish stool i feel like that looks pretty good in, in just about any space put that right there and then uh let's get a lamp we need a standing lamp a fairly tall one we'll go with this one here by that we're gonna chuck this in the corner back here just like that we'll go ahead and turn it on oh uh we can't turn this one on so we're gonna get rid of that we're gonna try the other one 
I know there's two different uh, two different types here. Hopefully one of them turns on. There we go. All right, that one actually works. That looks good. Now we just need a little decoration on that end table. I'm thinking uh, thinking a little fern would look pretty good. We'll grab a fern here and uh, put that just in the center of the table. There we go. A little decoration for him. I'm liking it. All right, for this window, I'm gonna do some curtains and uh, we're gonna do no blinds on it, actually. We are going to do blinds on the other window, though. There we go, mounted, mountable window blind. Let's do mountable window blind closed over here. Get this guy assembled, just put the bracket in and we can hang it straight away, there we go. All right, that's looking nice. Let's, uh, let's get some curtains here. Should be mountable long wide. Mountable wide here. I think we should just do white. None of the other colors are really gonna work well in this space, I don't think. So we'll get this thing zipped into the wall here. I'm sure we I'm sure we found a stud, right? That's how we that's how we mounted that. But I think that looks nice. Dresses up the wall a little bit so we don't need so many photos in here. And uh, I think we're about done here. Let's add a, let's add a coffee table quick and maybe a rug. For the rug, we're gonna go with this classic rug pattern just because I think it matches the wall a little bit. And then we just need a coffee table. And for the coffee table, let's go with this one. It'll kind of match the same sort of look that we have on, uh, hang on, what kind of top do we want? Let's do this top here. Uh, but it, the look of it kind of matches our, our cabinet there for the TV. So we will put this right in the center of the rug as best we can. How's that look? Is that a little better? That's a little better. I think we'll, I think we'll run with that for now. I don't think that looks terrible. And there we go, that's that's about our living room completely done there. And uh, let's turn our attention over here to the kitchen. I'm just gonna grab a couple of cabinets here and kind of chuck them in where I think they should go. Guys, we just have to put a wide cabinet up here, about there, and I think that should do it for the kitchen. We are uh, obviously gonna have to go through and, and add some decoration, but I, th I think I really like that. We can have enough space over here now for a little dining room, and uh, I think this is gonna work out perfectly. So what I think we need to do now is figure out what sort of decorations we want to put in here, and uh, let's just get after it. So in the windowsill over here, I'm gonna add two little ferns. One there and one over here. Perfect, just uh, add a little bit more depth to the window so you actually realize that there is a windowsill there. And uh, we are going to add one right there. That looks pretty good. All right, got a little decoration in here already. Now we just need the actual kitchen decorations. So let's take a look and see what they have here. While I'm thinking about it too, I, I do need a hanger over here next to the door. So uh, we'll just put that up there just like that. And let's go to let's go to kitchen and sort by price ascending. That'll give us the, the cheapest stuff to look at here. And it doesn't look like they have anything in there. So we'll go to accessories here, price ascending, got some forks. Uh, small cups, we're gonna get to that eventually. A notebook with recipes, that's something new. I don't think we've done that before. We'll, uh, we'll put that over here next to the fridge. Let's get a trash can right over here next to the refrigerator as well. Actually, I don't like that placement. Let's put this over here, just like that. That looks good. We got a cutting board, we're gonna put the cutting board over here. Kind of put it at a little bit of an angle. Make it look like it was just used. And then we got a knife we're going to put at an angle as well. Perfect. All right, now we just have to get the knife stand to sort of complete the look. Let's buy this clock here. I meant to uh, I meant to get a clock on the, on the last one. We'll put the clock up over here. I think that's a nice spot for it there. And uh, let's find this, find this knife stand. There we go. We can put this in the corner over here. Just like that, looks good. Okay, so now that we have our knife stand and our cutting board complete, 
we are going to need a shelf for our kitchen utensils. This I'm going to actually make gray so it doesn't blend in too much. And we're gonna put it up on that wall just like that. Looks great. All right, let's see what other decoration we have that we haven't used yet. Let's use this classic kitchen drying rack instead of the, uh, the other one that we have been using. Make sure it's rotated around so it's nice and square. Put that over there. I'm not gonna fill it with, uh, with a bunch of stuff this time. Um, just because we'll get our wok out here. Get a black wok. I keep saying I don't know what this is when I when I find this. I realize that it's a pan, but I don't know what they're getting at when they're calling it a wok. I don't know why you'd have to be lore friendly when talking about a, a pan with a lid on it, but that's just me throwing that out there. And let's get a, let's see, there was an alarm clock. That's kind of cool. Teapot right here. I'm gonna put that over close to the burners there. And uh, let's get ourselves a microwave. There we go. We'll put the microwave over here, sort of at an angle, just there. And then we need a coffee machine, of course, or coffee maker. And we will put that right there. I feel like we kind of place the microwave and the coffee maker there every single time we make a kitchen. But honestly, it looks really nice. I'm really happy with that. I think that turned out pretty good. Let's, uh, let's turn our attention now over to the dining room set. I don't wanna do anything crazy here. I literally just want a table and some chairs. So let's go to tables here and let's see. This is a table that we haven't used before. What do we think of that? Is that too much? We could do gray wood. That doesn't look bad. I think if we put that in front of the window just like that and add some chairs around it, I think that'll look pretty nice. So for the chairs, let's use a chair that we haven't done yet. Let's use this chair Gilbert here. And we could do, let's do a red chair. Yeah, why not? We'll do red chairs around here. Add a little bit of color in the room. We don't have a whole lot of color going on. We got pretty generic walls and uh, kind of kind of boring colored furniture. So that'll add a nice little splash of color in the area. I think that looks good. Now that we've got the kitchen and the living room figured out, let's move into the bathroom over here. And uh, first I'm gonna get all of our installations put in so we can start mocking things up. Okay, I got all of our installation, um, I guess faucets or ports, whatever you wanna call them. They're all installed into the walls. Now we just have to go around and, uh, and start installing the items we want. So let's sort this by uh, price descending again. We do have enough space in here for a washer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a washer right over here and uh, we're gonna get this bad boy assembled here quick. All right, washer is good to go. Let's get our shower on here. Gonna do the gray frame with the blue glass. We will get that lined up perfectly in the corner just like that. Put the base down, get the plug in there, mount the stuff on the wall, do the walls and boom, door is done. All right, now for the toilet. We're gonna go with the compact toilet, of course. And we're gonna put that right about there. Looks pretty good to me. Super easy to install. Few clicks and you are done. Now for the sink, for the sink, I always I always do this one. And honestly, that's just because it looks really, really good. Especially when you do the, uh, the cedar top on it. Let's see if it'll even fit over here. It looks like it will. Get this thing assembled, put our studs in the wall here, mount up the base, and uh, then it's just a case of doing the washer and the nut. And we've got a leaker. We got a leaker already, that's no big deal. That's what we have a mop for. Mount this other hose in there, lock it down. And now we just have to do the under plumbing here. Put the catch in there, turn on the hose, and there we go. Now we can get out our mop and uh, and clean that little spill up. So. Right here, we're gonna need a mirror. So I'm just gonna type in mirror. There we go. And we'll place it about there, looks nice. And then let's get ourselves a sconce above above the sink here by this one. I think that's the only sconce they actually have in the game, but I'm not complaining. That's uh, it's, it's pretty good looking sconce. And then in the window over here, we are going to need some blinds some closed ones at that. We don't uh, we don't want people staring at us when we're trying to to do our business. So let's get uh, let's get up here, mount this bracket up, get these bolts sunk into the window here, and there we go. All right, looking good. Um, I think honestly, I think that's going to do it for uh, for the bathroom. We'll come through all these rooms later on 
and uh, and add a little bit of decoration. But now we get to the bedroom. So if you guys still haven't figured this out, just hold on. Just wait till the end of the episode and you will figure it out. It'll all make sense then. But uh, let's get started and uh, and fit this bedroom out so uh, so he can actually have some place to sleep at night. So let's go to furniture here, get, a, get ourselves a bed. And we don't want anything too terribly nice here. The nicer they are, the bigger they are. We'll just go with, um, we'll just go with this one here, the double bed Hermes in a dark wood with some white sheets. I think that'll look pretty nice. And uh, we can we can space this out from the wall right there. That looks nice. And then we're gonna need some uh, some end tables. So I'll just type Hermes here so we can find the rest of the stuff here. And let's go with let's go with these two bedside tables. Buy two of these. Put one there and move the other one over here. Looking good. All right, so right next to the door over here. I'm gonna try to squeeze a dresser. Hopefully it'll let me. We can put it there, but we are going to have to move that light switch. So let's see, can we just move the light switch? No, we're gonna have to sell it and actually put in a new one there, but that's not a huge deal. Let's get this other wardrobe while we're thinking about it. Do the steel knobs on there. And uh, we should be able to put that over here, actually. Put it over here in this corner. There we go, just like that, looking good. All right, let's get our new light switch in here that we had to unfortunately get rid of, but it's not the end of the world. Put that up there and we can turn those lights back on. And look at that, we got ourselves a bedroom already. Things are looking good. I didn't realize that this was rotated the wrong way. We're gonna have to turn that around. There we go, all right, that looks a little bit better. Now let's get two lamps to put on either side. We'll just use these two. I think those will look pretty nice in here. One over there and one right there. We can turn both of those on. Awesome, all right. The bedroom's starting to take shape now. I'm liking it, looking pretty good. Over here we are missing, of course, a fern. So let's grab ourselves a decorative fern here and put it on top of this dresser. All right, we'll put the fern over there in the corner just to add a little bit more depth in the space. And now, I guess I guess we need a TV, right? We need a TV hanging on the wall. So we'll grab ourselves a TV here. We'll put it about there. I think that'll look pretty nice. And there we go. We have a completed bedroom. Now, what we need to do is, uh, is come through and decorate here. And luckily, I have just the thing for this house. So I wanted to do something really special here and, uh, and kind of decorate it with, you know, some Papa John's theme stuff. Now does the room color sort of make sense, at least a little bit? Hopefully it does, but in the uh, in the bedroom, we're gonna go with, um, we're gonna go with this meme photo right here. Why not? I think that'll look pretty good. It's a pretty large photo, but let's put that up there. It's got the, uh, got the Pope, at least I think that's the Pope, holding up a Papa John's pizza like it's, uh, like it's a holy piece of bread that he's going to break, so that looks pretty cool to me. I think we're gonna love that. Or I think he's going to love that. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that'll about do it for this space. And let's uh, let's add a little bit more decoration out here. So up above the couch, I'm thinking we add this photo here of Papa John himself sitting in front of his Z28 Camaro. And uh, we'll put that, we'll put that about there. There we go, that's looking good. Now for uh, for the kitchen here, I did want to do something a little bit different. I'm trying to add the menu into the kitchen somehow. You guys can see I have this uh, this little picture of the menu. I say little, but it's huge. I think we'll put that right there. That's looking nice. So he's got his own his own little menu here that he can uh, he can look at throughout the day. So if this doesn't make any sense to you guys, if you're if you're like, why are you making a house with a bunch of Papa John's memorabilia inside of it. If you haven't seen Mr. Beast's video of where he gives a house away to a Domino's delivery driver, that's kind of the idea here. Except uh, we can't do Domino's because Domino's doesn't deliver to my house. They hate me. So I, I gotta do. I gotta go with Papa John's. Papa's in the house, baby. In the hallway here, we're gonna need something else. Something like this, I think, is gonna look pretty nice. Add a couple of pizza paintings up on the wall, that's looking good. In the garage, we do have a bit of empty space on this wall. Let's see if we can't add something like this in here. So this will be his delivery vehicle, obviously. You guys 
probably figure that one out on your own. Um, over in the living room, we are in need of at least one more painting, I think. Probably on, probably on this wall here in the corner. So we are going to get this beautiful painting of a pizza. That's way too big. Let's scale it down to about 0.5 meters. It's about there, that looks pretty good. And we'll put that there. God, dude, is your mouth watering yet? Because I'm, I'm really wanting some pizza now, if I'm honest. Okay, in the bathroom, we need another painting. If not two, let's add, let's add the, the six cheese pizza painting up above the toilet, just like that. And one more over here. Let's do it. Let's do another Pope one over here, but a little bit smaller. And we can put that right there, just like that. Looks great. All right, so now that we've got all the decoration around the house, I... What was that? Was that the doorbell? Oh, yeah, I ordered pizza. Duh. Hi, Mr. Pizza Delivery Guy. Come on in and check out your new house. What's that? You're speechless? Oh, it's... It's okay, trust me. I make all this all this YouTube money now, so don't even worry about it, dude. Don't sweat it. This is your new place. You can live here for as long as you want. I'll just pay your rent. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, you want a tour? In here, you have your bedroom, complete with the Pope, holding the holy Papa John's pizza. And uh, you got a TV on the wall, pretty basic. Hopefully you enjoy the color scheme in the bathroom. We got the six cheese pizza up on the wall and another image of the Pope holding the sacred bread. We also have a nice little sink over here that I think you're gonna enjoy. You can put your pizzas in there. And then in the living room, we have Papa himself with his Z28 Camaro in front of what looks like, it looks like this is just his garage, actually. Does he, does he do deliveries in this thing? That would be so sick. And then we have a mouthwatering image of a pepperoni pizza over here. That's my go-to in your living room, complete with three 2G controllers, an Xbox, a PS4, and uh, moving on into the dining room over here. In case you forgot the menu, I went ahead and put it on the wall. I know you, obviously you work there, but uh, I, I had to put it on the wall for you just for reference. And uh, in the in the kitchen, not much, not much going on, but we do have an oven, of course, so you can make your own pizza at home. In the garage, I heard you're kind of a handyman, so I, I, I got you fitted out with a couple of tools here and uh, just a bunch of storage. And then this, surprising you with your new car. I know, you never thought this day would come. I got you a lore-friendly Audi A3 that you can do all your deliveries in. It's great, it's awesome. And here is just a little photo for some inspiration. Um, just before you go out on your delivery route, but I hope you like the house. All right, all jokes aside guys That was kind of the gist of uh, of me wanting to do this episode We've done so many houses now I had to come up with some sort of idea on how to make how to make the series at least a little bit more entertaining so hopefully you guys did enjoy that but uh I think that's gonna do it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.